Hi everyone, my name is Yadira. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go to France and Italy. Let's pack together. Let's go through my mindset of what happens as I prep for a vacation. It's a week before, but let me know in the comments, how early do you start packing for a vacation? So here's my makeup case and this is the one that I use to travel with often. I love how slim profile it is and also that I can carry it. I started by putting just, you know, like a makeup eraser. In this box, I actually hold all of my mini brushes. So I'm going to sort through these and pick most, to be honest. A foundation, a backup foundation brush, I guess a bronzer, all over powder, a blush, a highlighter, one of these as a blending brush, and then I'm gonna have a another backup so as this all over shadow and a another eyeshadow brush and then i keep my main makeup brushes in this acrylic case from the container store i believe that's where it's from so i'm just gonna go through here see if there's any extras that i would want to carry Go into my Urban Decay palette and these come with eyeshadow brushes and I know I have mine in here so I'm just going to take this out. I'm going to pick these four out of my everyday brushes and set them aside so that I can wash them and then have like a clean set but I am going to take these little sponges for like the under eye or blending out any foundation. So here are the little makeup sponges. I'm gonna take this Natasha Denona and this is the mini retro palette. I love this shade right here. It's like an all over topper sort of shade. I am taking in this one i used this the other day and i love the eyeshadow look my eyelash curler for sure one of these little razors a lash combing and i like this for whenever i get some mascara in my upper eyelid or like in my eyeshadow area i could just kind of flick it off the one side until dawn setting spray brow pomade by anastasia this is in the shade chocolate i'm currently going through my luminous silk by giorgio armani i have it in the shade four and then i sometimes mix it with this one this one is more like of a natural dewy or like a satin finish i guess you can say and i have it in the shade 2.5 still a little bit too dark so i do mix it in with this one but i've been loving this along with my forever foundation by dior this is the matte version i have it in 3n so i think i'm gonna go with these two right here for setting powder i do have three prisma libre in shade what shade are you violet rose i want to put this in there just in case like whatever i mix from here is still too dark for my coloring at the time i can always lighten it up or brighten it up with this and then this one is just like a good all over setting powder for me i do like the way my skin looks a little bit better with this but yeah i think i'm gonna go with the tart powder so i keep most of my makeup in these drawers this is the five muji drawer system and then this is the original beauty box right down here this is the five drawer and this company i think went out of business so yeah mini mascara golden eye light reflector by nars backup brow by mac in the shade spike my color corrector this is the one by elf backup mascara this is a mini gimme brow mini eyeshadow primer actually you know what i think i have a mini of this one the christian dior ultra care liquid in the shade 539 i love this shade this is rose montaigne by dior i have one of these in my purse that i am gonna put in here so a hollywood lips Duchess, and it's like a pinky sort of shade that I'm almost out of. Pink Venus, Pillow Talk, Bond Girl, and Super Size Me. Serena Lip Gloss by Buxom. So whenever I travel, I typically take this one. The Bar of Gold Highlight Palette by Charlotte Tilbury that has been discontinued some years back. And I usually like this because I can double it as a highlighter and also eyeshadow along with a bronzer. This is the Vitamin D by Jaclyn Cosmetics. And then I would pick one of these two blushes or i really like this palette this is the ghost palette i think that's what it was called by hourglass and i really like this top one actually i like all of them those are the ones that i would typically travel with i think i would have picked this one but i recently got a palette that i'm gonna use instead so that one is in my top drawer up there so i will show you that in a few i'm gonna take chapstick 
This is the palette that I was talking about. This is the newest palette that I have within my collection. This is by Hourglass and it has highlighter, blush, another blush, and a bronzer. So I think this palette is perfect and will cover all of my looks. And it looks like it's going to pair well with the lipsticks that I have already chosen. I am going to take this one and save this space on, you know, the bronzer, highlight, and blush set that I would typically travel with. For my eyeshadow, um, I feel like this is a little bit too dark because I was thinking maybe I can take my three mini palette. I think from this palette, I would want to take these two shades and also Travertine, Pana, Fizzy, Kaba, Flesh, and Sandstone. Nubia too. This is a good palette. This palette, I actually like quite a few shades. I like the Glitz, Psychedelic, Mob, Helio, Vivian. Actually, I think I might just take this palette because I'm taking like a lot of taupes, olives, and cream sort of outfits. I have to think about that probably like move them around because you can take them out so yeah tbd on that this is where i'm currently housing like all of my minis i'm gonna quickly go through this and see what i'm adding in there here is my mini so i will be taking this one and leaving this one actually maybe i should go through this one and then leave this one because this one is new I already have a little way sample, so I'm gonna swap this one and take that one instead. And then this Power Grip Primer. I didn't put a primer in there and I think I'm gonna take this one. I just need to play with it. So I am gonna put this, actually, I'm just gonna set it aside. So whenever I do my makeup the day before, I can use it. <laughs> These are the three scents I'll be taking. So the Guerlain Perez and the Tom Ford Bitter Peach, the Louis Vuitton Pacific Chill. I'm gonna put those right there. So I ended up going to Sephora after picking out all of my makeup and I got another mini palette. This is the Natasha Denona My Mini Dream Palette and I have already swatched the colors and they look really nice with these other three that I already have. But with them being so slim, they're gonna fit perfect. So I am going to not pack a midi size eyeshadow palette and take these minis with me. Just for reference, this is the Mini Retro, Mini Bronze, Mini Star, and the mini dream palette by Natasha Denona. For my packing, this is how we pack. So we have some packing cubes right there that this will go into. I have some pajamas already there. Um, I do need to get like more undergarments and also socks, compression socks, and more pajamas um, apart from this. But this is basically our outfits. So each of the tags are a separate day. And they also have the location outfit, day, where are we going, and I put weather, which I didn't put the weather, but <laughs> it's on there. And this is just something that I made. I printed them out. I have a laminator at home and this are my little tags. I have um, like his and my outfit for Capri and then same story for every other day and then all of these will go into the packing cube. So that is kind of how we pack in a nutshell. We do take two carry-ons. One will be clothing and the other one will be like our shoes and um, accessories. If we do have to check something in, we will check in the shoe luggage and then keep our clothing one. Um, as our carry-on in this little baggie right here i'll go through that all right so update on the packing and sorry my like mascara has like smudged already it is the end of the day i did go get food allergy tested and i did find some positives so i found that i was just like high allergy symptom heavy today so um yeah lots of watery eyes but i wanted to give you an update on my packing and i wanted to start off with my eyeshadow palette so yesterday i created my own natasha denona palette because you can remove the eyeshadows this is what i came up with it is such a beautiful color range but i tried using it because i wanted to see if it could work while i'm away i didn't feel comfortable creating a look with the palette that i created i honestly think that if i would have gone with the natasha 
Rosa Denona Retro Glam Palette that has more olives and camel tone colors as well as has like some pinky rosy shades. I think that color story would have gone better with all of my wardrobes without me having to create a whole new palette. And one of the things I like about her palettes is that they're just so slim profile and they have a big mirror that you can work with for other areas, not just your eyeshadow. I'm not quite happy with the way I configured this palette. I love all of her shadows, but it's a little bit too late for me to order the Retro Glam Palette. It won't be here on time. So at this point, I think I'm just going to take little minis just because they're compact and small and I can make some looks with that and it does have like some olives. So that's the update with the makeup. And on my little essentials the carbon monoxide detector one of the hotels that we booked does say that they don't have any in the suite so this i had already purchased like freehand like months back since i already have it so i'm gonna just take it with me mini spray hand sanitizer bottles we can use to sanitize a plane while we sit there because it is a long haul ride for us and that's a lot of hours to be in a not so clean environment so i will be taking those and this very secured in there with the tape but what it is it is a bed bug spray the intense version i'll put a picture right here i got it from amazon i've never used it before but it has great reviews and just from traveling from one hotel to another one country to another i think it's essential and something i didn't really look into beforehand but me and my husband are both he's allergic to a lot of things and then me i'm just coming up on developing allergies myself being more sensitive so i'm just gonna be using this on both the plane and also the bedrooms as soon as we get there we'll just kind of spray as much as we can and have a little peace of mind right so that's the bed bug spray the intense version this is a new one that i got just because i think i want to take my camera i'm not quite sure if i want to vlog if in case i will have a little adapter station so that i can charge all of that equipment but last year we used this one and this is this exact same one so this is a travel adapter in the type c it configures us to europe and that would be france and italy the two countries that we will be visiting and last year i did go to italy and i was able to use this just fine and my husband brought up a good point that some of the hotels have like little stations where you can use a usb or a USB-C so some chargers like your phones or like your Apple watch might be easily charged through one of those options rather than necessarily using one of these. This one in particular has two USB, one USB-C and one regular plug. This in there for different countries so it's like a multi-country sort of adapter and again this one's the same one it's just a backup so it has a little light blue at the front and the white. Also in that same bag just so that I don't forget I have some q-tips and also some some floss picks that I will put in our skincare toothbrush sort of bag but I did have this site by side just so I don't forget it oh and I am also taking my little travel fan all of the hotels that I did book say that they have air conditioning and last year when we went to Italy the hotels we got all had air conditioning like I didn't know that I had to look into that particular detail but apparently there is hotels that do not have it so I was sure to take note of that on every single hotel that I did book for this particular vacation and I'm just gonna take my little fan just in case and also just to kind of like walk around it's gonna be hot right so my little trusted travel fan and the cool thing about this one too is that it does have a USB-C and USB or at the bottom where you can double this as a charger so I kind of have like a iPhone charger on the go as well let's get just a little bit intimate and some of my tops for my outfits will require like a strapless bra sort of situation maybe they have thin straps or an open back so i did get these little pasty stickers from forever 21 and i pulled them out to kind of see how they work and i am not a fan i don't think i'm going to be using these these were not expensive these were 6.99 that they would be great but the little jelly is a little bit concerning is kind of like how can i say it? it's like gooey sort of and it does say like not to wear if you are going to be exposed to the sun that's pretty much all i'm going to be doing soaking up the sun and instead i did buy these from amazon these are the bouge gala but these i did test them it comes in a pair of two even though it says that they are invisible like you can totally see i guess it depends on the thickness of your blouse or your top or even the shade like if it's on a white color 
color like how see-through is it these in particular they're not as thick on the edges you can still see that you're wearing little pasties and i'm not sure that i'm a fan of that i used to have like a cup bra that i got from target that a lot of influencers actually recommend and every time that i go into target to get a like a fresh pair they are sold out or they don't have my size so i tried to look on amazon for some alternative that was similar to that and i did get some in today i still might carry these just because i mean if you need some covering why not so i did get some amazon orders in today and i think these are it i did get two so let's just double check oh, actually i have a lot of things i'm excited I did get this. It is by Relly Relia. So let's check it out together. This one also comes with little pasties. And actually, let me compare those with these. Edge on the ones that I just got is thinner than the edge on the Vosh Gala that I had previously purchased from Amazon. You're not gonna be able to tell on camera, but just based on the touch, the Bush Gala, which again, you're not gonna be able to tell. And then this is the new one by the Relly Relia. Yeah, I'm gonna have to test these, but I already like the feel of it just being a little bit on the thinner side. Now that could be, you know, double whammy, whether it covers enough or not. The center of it does look a little bit meaty than the edge. So I'm sort of hopeful that it would do the job. That one came with a bra version as well. And this is sort of similar to what I would find at Target, except the ones from Target actually have like that meaty chicken cutlet sort of material or feel to it. And these seem to be more like plushy, like actual bra. This one seems to be very promising. It does have an indention from shipping and hopefully that can smooth out between now and then. So that is the ones from Amazon. And actually I have one more that I ordered, but it's not here. What is this? Oh. I ordered some bra extenders just because I like using these, especially from like me always just working from home and sitting down and naturally just getting a little bit more inflammated from being sitting for such a while and then just kind of resting on my rib cage. I wanted some bra strap extenders. This little box is so nice because I can now keep them all together as opposed to losing them after washing, but it just comes in a little set of four. So it has a a black version a nude a white and a light pink sort of extender and it's just the clasp in the back and the three little extenders right in the front so there is that and that is by the brand bead nova and then i have these little straps that i got because i want to strap this to my iphone and kind of have it like a wristlet if i ever have a lot in my hands or i just don't want to get it stolen and yes i've seen the necklaces but i don't know that i want to wear a necklace all the time and also too i can strap this from my camera if i do decide to take my camera which my camera actually has a strap already on it so if Feeds the purpose and then i did get a new phone case it's just a clear case i like buying clear cases for my phone just because i do have a i think it's like a gold or yellow tone phone and it doesn't really matter what color you have but i do really like it and so that is why i picked the clear i'm actually gonna go ahead and throw those away because i'm not gonna use them ever i found this bag it is by kate spade it's a reusable tote got it for six dollars and 98 cents from dillard's it has a little you know protector for the hardware and i'm actually gonna go ahead and peel it off because it looks like my hardware is oh actually it's fine the little plastic is oxidizing but the hardware itself is fine the hardware is a metal but the zipper itself is plastic so there's definitely a slim you know kind of waterproof sort of pouch and the tote inside is one of those collapsible sort of shopper bags feature little ties and that's it so you can actually use this as a little wallet inside of your little bag the reason why i got this is because i wanted something that we can store like our swimwear after we're done using them i have not booked any like beach clubs but i do plan on just kind of paying for some on the spot whatever 
whatever is available i didn't book any because we want to be able to explore as well and i didn't want to commit to a specific time or day so that is the reason for that so i am totally going to be one of those you know knocking like hey you have anything available can i come in sort of person but anyways we can hold that in here and even if we go like shopping elsewhere like i can easily just put this inside of my bag and go on about my day i'm thinking of using my mini bum bag i was kind of hesitant because it does have you know vachetta leather and i am gonna be around the water so i was kind of thinking about that i might take one of my little vachetta accessories too something light and simple but i did want to have this as a little backup and also i can use this as a beach tote as well put in our i didn't even bring any you know beach towels in here and snacks whatever have a beach day won't feel too bad if anything happens to this bag <laughs> only has like a kate spade logo right at the bottom i have a feeling that this is going to be one of those things that i think i won't be using every day and i just might end up using it every day the hardware pretty chunky but again the zipper is plastic but i like that you can literally do this slim it down and fit it wherever it doesn't really take too much space and i like how you can do this because at the very bottom of my mini bum bag there's always like a little spacing of area that i can get to and i can put this all the way down there so it's awesome and even if you know we get hit with an accidental rain i can use this as my little raincoat for my mini bum bag so i'm excited about this little baggie also from delerts is this super cute jewelry case and this is actually from avera bradley this is a part of the disney collection they did a cinderella theme and so this is just one of the little mice with the two spools right down here and the little needle and then she has all these little gems to sew so that's super cute this is like a satin material so i do perceive that it's going to have a lot of peeling this i got because i actually don't have a jewelry travel case because i often rely on the little pouches that come with your goodies and i actually have some for example you know kendra scott these little baggies i wanted to get something a little bit more formal and not super super huge now while this does have its thickness i thought it was cute i mean everyone's gotta spend money on something like this in their lifetime right this one was a 26 dollars inside has a clock and some other elements from the actual movie this is a little snack where you can put like your rings or if you want to hook on necklaces from here and then store the rest of it down in this little compartment you totally can in the interior of this one is a microfiber suede sort of so if you have any silver or golds that don't have a lot of facets it's just plain it's not gonna scratch it i mean of course it does depend what other items you have in the little pocket and then it does have another little flap right here if you want to put some bracelets in the front side or in the back um, a little section for earrings so you can have some earrings there and then the little snap to kind of secure them shut you have three at the top so if you have any dangle earrings or longer earrings you can put them there and if you have more like studs you can put them down at the bottom so you have three more additional earring spaces down there and that is a little pouch in itself and even though it doesn't have like you know maybe like a little file sort of system apart from this you can still use your like mini bags and put them in here like that will fit in there just nicely and there was another little pouch that i wanted to get this was also from the disney collection from the aerial it was a little mini treasure chest i thought that i could stick my camera in there and use it like i was trying to find the many ways that i can use this particular pouch and i'm sure i can have a little treasure chest of lipsticks or something like that and then i was kind of like well do i really need it and then i wanted to look at the measurements just to kind of see how big it was i will put a picture of that here because it is super cute so now i'm just going to go through my jewelry collection one of the pair of earrings that i wore a lot those are by kendra scott I I believe this style is called L, like crushed sort of gemstone in there. But anyways, I will be taking these because they're super cute. My Melinda Maria necklace. So I'm gonna be taking this one, just kind of has like a, a marquee sort of a gemstone at the bottom. I don't know if I will be using this bangle, but I am taking a navy dress and this will pair nicely with the little earrings that I already have. So this little bangle also by Kendra Scott. I have this pair of earrings that they're so fun. I do have a dress that has this sort of tone of 
of blue that I maybe would use one day. I don't know, they might be fun. I will take them. And then I have this necklace. I've never worn it actually. It is also by Kendra Scott. It is in this gold. And right here, you can interchange the stones in the front. Maybe like a pearl opal. I don't really know the technical names of all of these gemstones. I have that one. And then I have this blue one that I think will pair nicely with some of the outfits that I have going on. Actually, I'm finding out that I'm not really filling in my little pouch here. This might be too big. This is why it might just be worth it to have a little baggie instead. I'm gonna try to make it work, a matching set. So I have the little earrings also by Kendra Scott and then the necklace, the matching necklace. So lots of blue going on. I have this necklace. It's a, it's a little heart that has this little iridescent that reflects a lot of green. And I thought that I could use this with my outfits whenever I am wearing green. And this one is actually tarnishing a lot i am still gonna take it just just in case one more pair of earrings these are in a rose gold color also by kendra scott and i do have a sort of matching necklace that i can use so i will be taking this as my little rose gold option so i have a silver i have some gold and now i have some rose gold i feel like this is a lot of jewelry pieces and if i lose one or two i mean it'll be fine yes it'll hurt because some of these are gifts all right so this is what the little jewelry case looks like all packed so in here i went ahead and put the little bangle in this little pouch but i'm not going to be using any rings so i do have my little necklaces here so i have one two three four and then i have it secured with the little button and then i just have this tucked in there just like that and then because there's no additional pocket i did have this just in there this is the interchangeable necklace by kendra scott with the little gems if you can kind of see them in there so that's what this is and then the flap so in here i do have my little earrings so i have the that i think i'm gonna be using the most and then the fun little earrings right here the long tassels the rose gold and then the little minis that i actually put on um, like this and then i have some extra ones that i'm not using so let me just snap that so that's all that i am taking in here um, the next items that i will be taking are all sunglasses these are all inexpensive sunglasses i got them all from forever 21 when i did my little purchase so they were all 7.99 i believe that's what they retail for i got a brown pair it does have a little logo on the side that really looks like christian dior this was not intentional it was just that i wanted to get sunglasses that if i do smile they're not making any indentions in my cheeks all of these sunglasses that i will be showing you are on the you know slimmer sort of cat eye okay so i was showing you these um and then i got a phone call so i did want some that don't touch my cheeks if i do smile you see there's a clearance because oftentimes with sunglasses i'll get an imprint on the nose and then also around my cheeks it's not a pretty look and then i got these sort of similar but just a different color i believe this is called nude i don't really remember um i'll try to see if i can link them down below in case you are interested I feel like i will be using the most i can smile and it's not really touching my cheeks and I might just have to powder my nose or I think there's a trick where you can put powder in here so that if it does sit on your bridge it won't remove some of your makeup then I have these it's more of a squared cat eye and it does have like this little resemblance here that um, looking at them they do remind me of a style that Prada might have um, but there is no logos obviously they're from Forever 21 and these aren't perfect like they do have imperfections like in the frame right here I actually had purchased a pair of burberry sunglasses and i returned them because i had a pair of burberry sunglasses that i have somehow misplaced i think they're in my husband's car but i'm not too sure like i've looked around my car there's like nothing there I looked around some handbags that i thought that they might be hanging around but i have lost them so i did go to sunglass hut to buy a new pair of burberry shades that i will insert here and while i did love them i liked the way they fit and they look i was still kind of thinking about the fact that i had lost Lost another pair that i was like okay i don't want to lose this much money if i do lose this second burberry pair and that is why i went with these and i did go crazy because they were eight dollars a piece and then i also did get a pink version of the black shade I think between the pink and the nude they would be my most worn now this color is a little bit more crazy for like everlasting photos but i love how it doesn't really touch my cheeks so those are the sunnies that i will be taking if i lose them drop them scratch them whatever 
They're just $8. So I have a black, a brown, a nude, and a fun pink. So now to talk about the elephant in the room. This suitcase is a new suitcase that I had purchased because that one is quite old. So I was ready to replace it. But this one, I already have it packed with all of my things and it has seven days worth of clothes for me and my husband in there. I don't have shoes. My husband's carry-on is actually empty. So I could put some of these things in there. But I do have some more days worth of clothing that I do want to put in his suitcase. But anyways i wanted to take this one but the only thing with it is that i'm not comfortable with the little expanding thingy right here I feel like it's stressing the luggage now i do still have my receipt for this luggage I actually think i'm gonna return it i like the features but i don't like that portion and it does have this little organizer just a zipper compartment the little straps to put the compression over here to secure it down another clear zippered pouch some instructions on how to operate the lock and in the back it's just empty and it does have this in case you want to hang it so like if you have some toiletries here put this behind your door and then you kind of have a on the go toiletry bag here this is by samsonite and it's a very pretty luggage but the only thing with these sort of luggages is that these will scratch and get white marks but this also does have a usb kind of feature up here where i can charge things right so you can put your power bank in the inside and kind of hook it on and that will be your power source the tsa approved lock closed so perfect and then you pick your little combination which I have not picked my combination because I wasn't sure about this one but I'm glad that I'm giving it a try now because now I know that it's not going to be a good fit and I do have some days to kind of go scramble around town to find my perfect luggage. In this front compartment I have five days worth of clothing for me and my husband. Not just your actual clothing but also like undergarments and pajamas are in each of these. Here I have three more days worth of clothing plus like swimwear, socks and all that good stuff and I do have some spacing in there to utilize. Bye. And while I do have zippers there, even though I can use them, as you saw, I feel like it is stressed to its capacity as is. That kind of makes me feel like I'm not really using the suitcase to its fullest capacity because I'm also not going to be using this sort of divider because of that same reason of already stressing the expanding to where I feel is max capacity, basically. I'm gonna try to transfer everything that I have in here into my oldie right here. And this this isn't terrible. I mean, is it on its last leg? Not really. Like, can it still take me around the world one more time? Absolutely. But it does have its flaws. I mean, just here in itself. I don't know if you can see it. And I can definitely clean it up. There's like a lot of peeling going on. And then I have like fray edge right here. My zipper actual pull is missing. My zipper used to be rainbow and it's sort of fading now. One time I did let my mom borrow my suitcase and she put in this in a the zipper pulls to kind of easily identify it whenever um, she was picking up luggage. I just kind of kept it there. My front pocket is still functional and then obviously the inside has its own built-in sort of organization. This one is from the brand Olympium and I got this from I want to say like Ross maybe? I don't know. I got it years and years and years ago and I've used it for work. I've used it for personal vacations obviously and it's always been great to me. This front component compartment yes while well, this one is split in two so technically even though this looks like a bigger compartment it might just be the same at the end of the day what i like about this the most is that it does have the front pocket features so if i want to have like a sweater or something of that sort for on the plane i do like the way that i have quick access as opposed to opening my entire luggage to get either like my shawl scarf sweater jacket blazer whatever i do like this better and i did did try to look for a hard case that had a front zipper feature but they look a little bit goofy in my opinion <laughs> if i do return this and decide to get a new one it might be something similar to this where it's not hard sided and another thing that i want to know about this one is that even though it is carry on approved i do find that in some of the cabin spaces like i really have to give it that extra push so that it goes whereas the one for my husband like you just put it in there and it just kind of 
slides in there so this one is a little bit big and i know some airlines might have some restrictions like i'm worried about the airline that we're going to take between france and italy that's kind of why i wanted to get just a new one just kind of have something more slimmer and that's kind of why i wanted to have a hard side luggage because it is just one form you can stuff the inside and not have extra protruding from the outside like if i stuff these pockets like it is going to add depth to the top i'm just going to try to work with this see how it goes if not we're returning that one and we're shopping around for a new luggage so wish me luck <laughs> so not all of it fits in here i might just ditch the packing cubes and then see how that goes last year we were able to use the packing cubes but we were there for two less days than we will be this year so i think that is going to make a difference and again i can definitely use my husband's carry-on all right so i transferred everything into my old luggage and this one is completely empty so so empty there's nothing in here i just have it sip i know it's not really in frame i ended up having to take out the packing cubes because they a left space underneath and on the sides you know what i could have used to store more things so i don't have the packing cubes in here but i do have everything by day of course this would only make sense to me and my husband basically we start off with like day one and over and then come back down and then here is end of a day Eight. and so we'll put the remaining days on his luggage and then off to the side i just have like some swimwear and then fuzzy socks and also like the little sockets that can, you can use with flats and low cut sneakers in this front pocket because the zipper is broken i don't have anything in here but in this other pocket right here i have what we will wear once we land because when we land we could probably do an early check-in if they have rooms available but likely that won't be the case so i do have change of clothes in this front pocket for us that we can quickly access change in the hotel restrooms and then go on about leave our luggage with the front desk or their security obviously i don't have my toiletries all of that including shoes will be going in my husband's carry-on so i made it my mission and the good thing about this one is that it does have an expanded option right here and i am currently not using it i can but with everything that i have in here i've you know i'm fine i guess i can just do it just so that i don't stress the zipper my husband did express concern about this particular luggage because it is quite old but i think it'll do the job i'm gonna go return that one it was like a hundred dollars from marshall's and then i have like 80 dollars mastercard gift card so maybe if i find a good luggage my you know trade it off officially retired this one target had some good ones but they all had like security codes that i guess people were messing with and i couldn't like unlock to be able to just look inside to see the compartments and then i do know that a base was available in the nordstrom anniversary sale again i like a front pocket feature and the one that they had available while it was cute it didn't have that that is definitely going back and for now this is what we're working with i returned the samsung luggage and i didn't find anything else that was cute in store i did go out to a second location and steal the same thing it was just about the same selection that i had seen before i even bought the great one i did go over to dillard's and i found a luggage brand that i think i would want to look into a little bit more briggs and riley i've never heard anyone talk about this brand but i think like the functions and even the organization is pretty good the sales associate did say that it's one of the brands that has the best lifetime warranty or aftercare than any other brand in the industry i'm not sure because i've never heard about this brand but i'm very intrigued if you have any luggage by this brand let me know your thoughts down below maybe it'll be a luggage that i'll look into after i come back from my trip for now my black one will do the job i have faith in it so i will be looking into retiring that one after my trip maybe i'll find good deals on a particular luggage or luggage set for black friday me and my husband we like to use our carry-ons because we don't pack too heavy or well, at least you already saw my luggage is filled but we're able to take everything that we want with our two carry-ons plus he has a backpack and i will be taking my never full so it's gonna work out it has in prior vacations what i was gonna say around that point is that we don't really get checked in luggage size while we do have some i think we have two like big jumbo size that you do check in he does travel more for work and whenever he does go for those trips he does use them so he's the one that uses them the most just because 
pussies out for so many weeks at a time but i mainly just stick with my carry-on and then even for work so i think i will be looking into a carry-on for sure if you have any luggage that you love or enjoy let me know what brand that is down below what model if it's still available i'll try to look into it while i do like the chicness of a hard-sided luggage i do need a soft one for those cute front pockets even though they're not so cute but they are very functional and i'm someone who leans with functionality versus having a cute luggage that might break or might not work or might be inconvenient if you know what i mean as far as how i'm gonna pack my neverfull i am just going to put my mini bum bag as well as i am gonna end up taking a pochette accessories in my damir and bin there with this dust bag so it'll be the mini bum bag the pochette accessories and my tech bag along with like my wallet my cell phone my passport holder which i do carry mine and my husband's as well as like our global entry cards just in case we need them i'm gonna take a blanket with me and i'm gonna just put that over top so that will take up most of my space within my never full but let me show you my tech bag so this is my tech bag it's by vera bradley and i got this off amazon it is a pink nylon sort of material it's not like nylon-y feel like i do definitely feel the textile on it but i like it because you can wash it off and kind of clean it or spot clean and it looks like it has some sort of a sheen to it that's probably what i'm feeling a little bit of stickiness not actual like sticky there's definitely some kind of feel to it again i did get it from amazon so if it's still available in stock i will link it down below it just has the signature vera bradley tab right at the bottom and your vera bradley hold tabs right in here matching zipper it almost looks kind of like a pewter mob sort of pink it's not like blush pink i have it fully packed and first off is the little tripod for gimbal my dji osmo mobile se version basically Basically, you, you twist it up. This is your tripod sort of situation. Then you prop your phone up here. It does have a magnetic clip that holds your phone that I do have in this pocket right here. So whoops. you see, it just clips on here. You do have to position it. Put your phone and it will stabilize your shot. Like if you're doing something like this, your shot is not gonna be so rough in the image. It's gonna look a little bit more seamless. If that makes any sense, I hope it does. It's very fun to use. I am not so great at cinematic sort of videos as you'll see i'm just a plain jane when it comes to my video editing but i do like a lot of the behind the scenes sort of equipment which is kind of why i use an actual camera to film my youtube rather than my cell phone cell phones are great you can totally do them and they do have a stabilizing mode if you have any of the newer iphones those are great i just I like to have the gadgets so I will be taking that and like I showed you I did have the clip for the DJI right here USB to USB-C charger for my little fan that I'll be taking as well as to charge the Osmo pocket if I ever do need to my husband uses this kind of wire for his phone so just in case I'm not saying he's gonna forget it but possibly I do have that backup that I can use my battery pack this is by Telesyn basically here you can put three batteries for your camera this is the sony battery that i use with my camera so i do have sony branded batteries and i have one in here i have one in my actual camera because i am using it and then i have this came with its own compatible battery that i can use with my camera i haven't tested it yet but i can assume that it's just gonna be the same it's just not a sony brand battery so i do have that one and i do have my little extra case for my batteries because you're not supposed so keep them in here whenever you are flying and this also does have two sd slots right here like if you see this little slot right there and also right here so that you could carry your sd cards in there so that's what i have in that pocket and then off to the front side of the mesh compartment there is a slip pocket where i do have a little mini ceremonic microphone i am basically telling you all of my camera equipment microphone that i can plug into my camera i don't know if i'm gonna be vlogging i typically don't whenever i go on vacation and last year i didn't take my things i did carry my camera and my cell phone but i didn't take my mic i didn't even take like an extra battery or anything i'm gonna take it just in case because i 
feel like I can sneak in some, you know, shots here and there, but we shall see. I'm not like perfect at vlogging. Or I'm not even sure that you would even want to know or see <laughs> what this place is look like. So it might just be extra added weight at the end of the day. I don't know. Also in this pocket, there is a zipper compartment. I do have an SD card. This is a 256 Extreme Pro by SanDisk. For my camera, this is a brand of memory card that I do use. Whenever I did get my camera, it did come with a Sony SD card that I do also have. So I have the Sony and the Santa's cards. So this is the one that I bought for my trip. Again, if I do something, I'll probably just take pictures with my camera to be honest. But I do have this one and I guess I can show you on this battery pack. So you take your SD card, you pop it in here and then... I don't know if you can see it is black so it is right here and then it just closes and it also does tell you battery meter for the actual battery and not like how charged the thing is i guess i can show you with this one as you add more batteries it'll each tell you the read of each of the batteries so again for three batteries and two sd cards i'll link it down below just in case you maybe also do youtube and want to have a battery charged at all times and you can just swap it um, this is an option. This will be the first time that I'll be traveling with this like on an actual airplane. The instructions did say not to keep the battery in here, but maybe you could. I don't know. You just don't want to burn down the plane. At least I don't. And then right in here, we do have two stretchy bands right here. So a thinner one for like a pen. Like for example, the little tripod fits in this compartment just fine, but I'm not keeping it there because I don't think it's gonna close after I put all of this stuff in there. Lastly, I do have the tripod that I have with my Sony camera. This is a Sony branded tripod and basically it allows you to control the camera from the remotes. So I can use this if I'm taking a photo of like me and my husband. I don't have to ask anyone to take a photo of us. I'll just prop the camera, make sure it doesn't fall or break. Take a distance and then just just kind of hit photo and take a photo. I used this for our trip in Hawaii. I did have some pictures that were a little blurry. I somehow forgot to hit it once so that it kind of focuses on us and then hit it to actually take the photo. But I did learn from that, obviously. So I will be taking this again and see if I end up using it. I've tried using my camera to film on YouTube with this and like move around. It's still a shaky footage. Either I need to stabilize my hand more or just know how not to be nervous when I'm using this. I don't know. But that is everything that I'll be taking in my little tech bag. Again, I will link it down below just in case you are interested in it. And I am actually very excited for my trip. I won't be showing my husband's luggage just because I need to clean some of the shoes that we're gonna put in there. And my toiletry bags are all packed and ready to go. So we're just going to stuff them there. And that will be it. So his luggage is probably a little bit more boring than mine, even though I didn't show you specific outfits or anything like that. So mine is probably equally as boring. I almost forgot to say with everything that I have in my Vera Bradley tech bag, my camera does not fit in there. I would not be trying to squeeze it in there. I don't want to break it. I will be taking my camera with the little bubble sleeve that I still have from whenever I first got it four years ago between the actual padding of my tech bag that will be in my number four and my two Louis Vuitton bags and my blankie it'll be enough cushion for my camera to just kind of hang around in the center and not get damaged so that is the plan for my camera but I do need a camera bag and that is kind of why I wanted to get that little Vera Bradley X Disney aerial collection treasure chest but my local dealers did not have it in stock so I will have to hunt to see if I find it online and maybe order it again i don't know if it's gonna fit my camera i did want to get the louis vuitton wapiti case for my camera and i wanted to get the sunrise pastel one that i was so close to getting but i didn't want to brush the lady who was actually looking at the item so i guess some things are just not meant to be yikes so that's the story with my camera and why I didn't mention it in here because it just doesn't fit. I want to thank you so very much for spending a lot of your time with me today. This video was probably everywhere, but literally that is just my mind as I'm preparing for a vacation. Let me know if you have any tips or tricks of how to ease the packing stress pre-vacation. Also, how far in advance do you pack? Thank you so very much and I hope to see you next time. Bye.